Today is Wednesday, the 6th of December, 2017. I'm Keith War, and welcome to another episode of Homeless in Titusville. And today I'm being joined by, what is your name, sir? Stephen Gregory. Stephen Gregory. And how old are you, Stephen? 65. You're 65 years old. Um, and how long have you been here in Titusville? Uh, going on two weeks. Two weeks. And so you're homeless? Two weeks. And you're homeless here in Titusville? Yes, sir. Have you ever lived in a home here in Titusville? Like, have you ever had a job in Titusville and lived no. a normal life? No. No, sir. Um, and what brings just, you? Uh, yeah, what it, brings you to Titusville? Coming out of West Palm Beach, and I just not feeling good, exhausted, hungry. What were you doing in West Palm Beach? How come you were there? Uh, I had a cousin that lived there that worked on yachts, and I went there to ask him if he could help me and give me a place to, sleep, to live. Mm -hmm. But he wouldn't help me. Wow. And how old is this cousin? Gina and Timmy is, he's probably his late 40s. Okay, so he's a younger guy. And does he have a wife, a girlfriend, yeah, kids? So, so, so he's got a family, Yeah. basically. Um, so that's kind of difficult to bring in an extra person when you have a family. Yeah. You know. Um, so where were you living before that? Where are you from originally? Georgia. Rugsburg, Georgia. Brunswick, Georgia. A place called St. Simons Island, Georgia. Jekyll Island, Georgia. Oh, Jekyll Island. Okay, yeah, uh, right, yeah. Right. St. County. Yeah, okay. And um, were you born and raised there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So you went to grade school there and, and high school and so on, you, and you graduated from school there? I didn't there? graduate. I quit school in ninth grade. Okay. It's, never okay. got a GED or... I just worked really, really hard. I've done a lot of construction and painting and... Labor, labor type jobs. Mm -hmm. um, and, and how about being a veteran? Have you ever been in the military? No, sir. So how did you escape the draft? I signed up for the Navy and they found that <coughs> I was bipolar and they wouldn't take me. Okay, so you're, so you're bipolar. So uh, how old were you when you were diagnosed with being bipolar? 17 or 18, I had a nervous breakdown. Okay. I used to get beaten by my daddy. When, uh, you know, growing up, I, I was molested by my daddy. My mom and dad were just very, very, very hard alcoholics. My dad would hit me so cut and pick it hard, and knock me to the ground, and dare me to get up. Dare me to get up. And I had scars. And he always told me if I ever told on him, he'd kill me. Wow. And how old were you when this started? This growing up as a teenager. Growing up. So did it start when you were like five years old, six years old? I was molested from the time I was molested from the time I was like four or five till maybe eleven. Wow. By your own father. Yeah. Oh my god. That... And my mama always said that she didn't know nothing about it, but she did. She just denied it. Yeah. So was do you think that your mom relied on him like like she relied on his money and she couldn't? He, they didn't have no money. They they were. Did he work though? Yeah, he worked for the county. Did she work? No. Well, see, that's what I mean. See, because he worked for the county, they they weren't wealthy, but she still relied on his money to to pay the rent or the house oh, yeah. payment. We had to pay the bills. We had an old trailer. Out in Brunswick, Georgia, St. Simon's So you grew up in a, in a trailer? Yeah. And um, how about brothers and sisters? Do you have any brothers and sisters? Two sisters and a brother up in Georgia. And are they older or younger than you? I'm the second oldest. Okay. Wow. And, and how about them? Were they beaten and molested too? My well, two sisters were uh, raped many, 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 many times. By your father? By my father. I know that my sister Sandy was uh, raped by my dad when she was seven years old. Oh my God! Did you? But I couldn't prove anything. I told the cops before, and they actually took me home, and I was beaten. I was beaten so, I was beaten so bad that I was at the hospital for a month and a half, I think. And my dad said that I fell off of a horse. One of our horses. We had two horses in the yard. And my sister Janice was molested by the same. And uh, 
I just got out of prison in um, 2000, April, of 2000, April of 2011. I was locked up in Greensville, Georgia. And when I got out, I come back home begging for help to start over again. And it, since uh, I say July of 2011, I just been out traveling around. And uh, what, what are your your brothers and sisters' li lives? The ones that were molested and beaten by your father. How did their lives turn out? That they're not still not right. So, so they didn't have normal lives either. They don't. It affected them. Today. They're not normal today. And believe it or not, my mom is still living. She's 89 years old. Really? And she's in a nursing home. She's on Social Security. Yeah, she's still living. And where is your mom? What, what city or town? Brunswick, or? Georgia. She's in Brunswick, Georgia. In a nursing home. And when's the last time you you had some contact with your mother? Probably three or four years. I don't even want to talk to her. Oh, you uh, don't? Uh, wow. I... I don't want I, I don't want anything to do with her. I, I don't. My mother and father. If my dad was alive, I don't want nothing. I don't even want to see their face. Oh my God. Yeah, I can't imagine. I don't even want to see that. I don't even want. I just. I called my mom just to ask her how she was doing because I had a heart. And other than that, I'll never call again. She took off. She told me at 88 years old or 87 years old that just don't call me. I don't know you. Wow. You know, I don't know you. Hey, but but I've, I've learned to accept it. Don't worry about it. They they don't they don't put food in my mouth no more. Right. And uh, they don't live my life. And just like my two sisters and my brother. I, I ain't gonna worry about it. I ain't gonna let it bother me. Not too so, old. So, so what was your life like? Were, had you ever been married? Twice. You've been married twice, and how long were you married each time? Well, first time I was married like 10 years, and the second time, six months. Oh, wow. And how about children? Do you have any children as a result of those three. marriages? So you have three children. Is that from the 10 year uh, relationship? Yes, sir. And how old are those children today? 20. Down to down 20, 23, 28. So a 28-year-old, a 23-year-old, and a 20-year-old. And how about them? Have you had any contact with I them? I don't know where they're at. You don't? Okay. When's the last time you had spoken to any of them? Years. Like five years, 10 years? Before 2011. Okay, so before you went to jail. So tell everyone what you went to jail for. I got around bars. So you used to be a drinker. Yep. And you were at a bar. And friends of mine that I've known forever pulled a knife on me, and I had a 22. And I shot him in the leg, and there was several of them that went to court and said I started every bit of it. But then they turned it over to self-defense, and I got got five years. Five years, and and you were charged with also having an illegal weapon. So, yeah. so obviously you were found to have been defending yourself because if you hadn't, you would have spent many more years. Oh yeah, I spent uh, behind 20, you. You know 20. what I mean. Um, and, and I'm just so sorry that I come to Florida. I, I, and you're uh, bipolar. You really should never have had a gun to begin with. That's right. You're right. Wow. So, um, what are things like for you being homeless? What What are things like for you here in Florida, being homeless in Titusville specifically? I'm just like, how are you eating? Do you get food stamps? No. Um, do you panhandle? Do I, I people don't, give you like? How do you How do you find food? How do you eat? I, I just try to be a real laid back person and talk to different people. I don't like to panhandle. Uh, but I uh, so you have a little conversation. And you kind of bring it up to them that you know you need some food, that you need something yeah, to eat. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, and sir. Have most people been what I met? Kind? What I met you? You you bought me a hamburger and right some French fries and a cup of cola. Right. First right. thing I beat. Now yesterday, all day long yesterday, all I had was uh, what did I have yesterday? A bag of pork skins. 
all and day yesterday. Have you ever tried to, uh, you know, apply for food stamps? Yeah, but when you apply for food stamps, just like my Social Security, I've, I've uh, got to give Social Security an address before they can issue me my Social Security check. Well, I would imagine if you call them, there's got to be been by there. another way. Like There's a Social Security office up this way. On so you're telling me that they told you you have to have an address yeah. to get your Social Security? And Medicare. Okay, and then you also told me about trying to get a job. And let tell the viewers what happened when you tried to get a job. This next street, right over here. Mm -hmm. Right up that way. We're at Rotary Park right now, the one next to the McDonald's on US 1. Okay, go ahead. Uh, there's three signs that said we are hiring irrigation helpers. Okay. And I went there Monday. And I waited like 20 minutes for the owner to, to come up in his pickup truck. Mm -hmm. And uh, he said, yeah, we need guys. <coughs> he said, do you know how to do irrigation? I said, I've been in construction. I know how to dig trenches to lay PVC pipe and sprinkler systems. Mm -hmm. He said, it sounds good. He said, where do you live? I said, I'm homeless. He said, I can't use you. Wow. So here you are, you're he homeless, said, and he you're said, willing I don't, to work. I don't need somebody that lives out on the street and comes to work today. Well, how are you supposed to get off the street if you can't and get a job? That doesn't make any sense to I me. I didn't argue with him. Right, yeah, because what can you really say? Nothing. There's nothing really you can say. Nothing you can really do about that. So, I mean, that's just awful. That's terrible. It's right over here. Up next, go right down the street, and there's a red light. And I know right you're talking about corner, right there. The old white building. Yeah, I know Ir what you're talking about. Irrigation. Wow. Wow. That's just incredible. So let me uh, let everybody know, like, what are your sleeping conditions? Do you, do you have a tent? Do you sleep? Do you have a sleeping bag? I had a sleeping bag. I had uh, uh, two pairs of jeans, some three shirts, some socks, some underwear, uh, like one razor that I've been shaving with a long time, a bar of soap, and some deodorant. And the other Saturday night, where, where uh, had it right up under the table. And I uh, went in my sleeping bag because it was hot. Right. And I woke up Sunday morning to walk over here to McDonald's. It was gone. Somebody stole it. Mm -hmm. So I now what do you have? That. Now what do you have? Like, how many pairs of pants do you have right this minute? This is the only pair of pants I the have. The ones you have on, and those are the only shoes you have? Yes, sir. And you have no socks? No, sir. And you, you don't have another shirt? You don't have another jacket? I have jacket? Uh, two shirts. I got this shirt here. So you're wearing more than one shirt right now? Two. You're wearing two shirts, yeah. and you're wearing this jacket, and this bike right here behind us. This is your your only possessions. Well, I've got two shirts and this blue jean jacket. I didn't have a jacket at all, but there's a thrift store right over here. And they gave me this jacket, this shirt, and a pair of, uh, well, I've got on a pair of swim trucks. Wow. They well, that was nice of them to give you those. They gave it to me. Wow. So what? what is your destination now? Are you just passing through Titusville? Are you planning on staying here and, and building a life? I'm, uh, it's not feeling good. I've got a real bad chest cold. OK. So you're sick. I don't have the money to for no uh, aspirins or Tylenol or no Obamacare. No. How about one of those things known on the street as an Obama phone? Do you have a phone? My phone was in the bag. So your phone was stolen also. My phone was uh uh it was through Verizon. Right. Was it well, one of I those got, free phones? One of the the guys call them Obama phones. No, it was kind. Of, you flip up. You, I know, but you, did you, you pay it. for it or was it free? No, no. Oh no, I bought it. You buy it at Walmart. But what about the phone service? Did you have to pay every month for the every month, phone bill? I had to pay thirty dollars. And how Unlimited. did you how did you come up with the thirty dollars every month? If I don't have it, I did, I I just wait until I get it. 
What were you doing, like odd jobs for people? Were you picking up trash? Like, how were you earning now, the, the money? I got a job in uh, uh, Palm Bay for okay. two days. Okay. I, uh, there was a guy that was uh, building a big two-story house. Mm. And uh, I started, he told me he didn't need no help with uh, that. And then he turned around a few minutes later and says, uh, if you sweep the house out and pick up around the yard and rake it up real good, and he paid me $75. Wow. Okay. That's been a Palm Bay, uh, probably 50, what, 50 miles south of here, 40 miles south yeah, of here. Yeah, yeah, Palm Bay is a little bit of a trip. So, um, so where, what's your destination? Where are you trying to get to? I've got, uh, since I get to feel a little bit better, and I really have nowhere to go. So you really don't have a destination? Just well, wherever? Well, my home is Brunswick, Georgia. Is that, where you, where, everybody is that where you want to go back to? Or it really doesn't matter? Because yeah. you're going to be homeless there anyway. I just want, I'm 65 years old, and I just want somewhere to call home. What's your health like? Real good. So real good. Um, so you uh, so you do need the medications for your bipolar, but you haven't taken that in, I in several years. I haven't taken medications in years. Okay, and, and so you don't have a blood pressure problem. No. You don't have diabetes. No. Uh, so you're physically healthy for the no, most I'm part. Very healthy, yes, sir. And uh, when did you turn 65? April the 20th. Okay, so you're definitely eligible be, for be, Social Security. I'll you're be 60, definitely eligible. I'll be 66 years old uh, in four more months. Wow. You are a senior citizen. Homeless. That is disgusting. Yeah, but no. You know AARP you get, you was can, started because a retired you can, school you teacher cannot, was living in a chicken coop. You cannot get help in the state of Florida. It's impossible. You can't get help. I agree. There is you not as much get help. help here as there is in a lot of the northern states. New York, Pennsylvania, Michigan, Illinois, Indiana, Massachusetts, all those places, there there are social programs. There are things to help I've you get back into society. West Palm Beach and here, you name it. Uh, you, you can't get help. So you've tried some of the local charities here? In Titusville? No. Uh, you, have you gone to the Brevard Sharing Center? No. So you haven't gone there yet. Um, no, but you no. were telling me you've been to some other places. You told me that you did go on Hopkins there, and you applied for some help at, at several went places. To a church. Okay, you went to some of the churches. And how about the churches? Did they have any help for you? They. Uh, we well, told me they they offered you some food, but it was the kind of food you had to cook. Right. And because obviously, if you're homeless, you don't have a stove you don't have a refrigerator right you, you know you don't have pots and pans to cook these things in uh, and then the rest of the preachers i talked to said that there's no rescue mission here right you know there that is uh, true there is no overnight shelter you know, that's that's, that's here true with long hair said don't even waste your time to go into that charity's place he said that you got to fill out a whole bunch of paperwork and it's a long wait. And they t they'll tell you that here in Titusville, there's nowhere for you to go, and they'll give you a little tiny bag of food for one day. That is that's that all is, we got. That is the truth. That that he got that a little tiny bag of food. Yes. A little tiny bag of food. I had to fill out four or five pages of uh, paperwork. He got and a most of the time, you have to have ID. Do you have an ID? Yeah. So you're so you're lucky there. A lot of times when you go and you, you get, let's say you get a bag of food from a church, right? They want to make a photocopy of your driver's license to make sure <laughs> you're not abusing it. Yeah. So think about if you didn't have that ID. You, you, you wouldn't even get that. You, they tell you they, they can't help you. Wow. This is, you know, see, if, now, now if the, this can happen state, to you, this can happen of, to anybody. The state of Georgia? Mm-hmm. They will take your picture in a, in a lot of organizations and give you a written thing and help you get your birth certificate to where you can go get them. They will help you do that. And uh, Georgia, in Brunswick, Georgia, every time a homeless person comes to St. William's Catholic Church, mm -hmm. 
they give them some money and they put them in a motel for three days and buy them a bus ticket. Here, well, here in the state of Florida, you forget it. Right. You, you forget it. Right. So it sounds like you've had a very rough life. Your whole life has been really, really I've hard. I've had a very hard life, brother. From your, your childhood on, and now here you are, you're a senior citizen. And uh, to top it all off, now you're homeless. It, you know, at 65. Did you ever I mean, imagine to, you're yourself homeless? Did you ever think you'd be homeless? No. Never thought the day would come. Did you have good jobs in your 20s and 30s and 40s? Did oh, you make good money? Not real good money. I mean... I, but you were I comfortable. The, you had yeah, all your needs oh, yeah. were met. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Wow. And I what kind of work did you do back then? I was at the main, My main skill was a uh, licensed framer. I so framed, construction, you did framer, framed houses framing for framing years. houses. 30 years. I quit drinking 11 years ago. I have not had nothing. <coughs> so we can't even really blame your homelessness on you being an alcoholic. Like a lot of these guys. A lot of these guys, you know, they're homeless because they drink a lot. But that's not I've the not, case I've with not you. seen them drink anything. Well, well they, believe me, they do. But, they I, but I'm just saying, you you don't. And you still find yourself homeless. I mean, you're, you're somebody's grandfather for crying out loud you know I don't know if the people at home could imagine their grandpa being homeless on well, the, the streets of Tyson with no just, help the thing that's wrong with me I'm exhausted I'm just tired I'm just completely exhausted it's been well, you're a senior citizen that's homeless of course you're exhausted I, I it's been over a week that I've been in Titusville and I'm I, I, I'm losing my energy I don't have anything to eat. I don't have anything to eat. Well, I drink, the I'll, Salvation Army, but it's a I'll little bit of a I go in that bathroom right there and get me a cup of water uh, uh, off and on all the time. I, I was laying down here today, and um, I just can't get a, uh, a good night's sleep because I'm, my stomach's so empty. You know? And I'm a senior citizen. And it's people awful. don't care. It's awful. It's terrible. It's it's disgusting. Uh, well, listen. You know, I, I'm glad that I was able to meet up with you and, and buy you a sandwich. You know. Thank you, man. God. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I've been going to McDonald's for all this week, and that's the first time in that McDonald's since Saturday that I've had anything to eat. I just uh, every morning uh, the girl. She gets off at seven, but she gives me a cup of coffee. That's kind of her. She gives uh, them two and me. She does give us a cup of coffee. And once she gives you coffee, you get refills. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So, um, so that's your biggest need right now. That's what you're struggling with the most is food. Yes, sir. It's food. I'm not asking for no money. Right. Right. Uh, I'm not slept in the bed. I'm you actually, really need an address. To, in order to get your social security once you get your social security then you can afford to, to rent somewhere because there are places well, that will so rent security, to you at a, at a discounted rate because you're on social security social security explained to me that they're through debit express now i know but what i'm saying that is if debit you had that social security you'd be able to get off the streets yeah yes, that's sir. the your social security is the only thing standing between you and being homeless I wanted to wait until I was 65 anyway because I'd get more money. Right, instead of getting it at 62 <coughs> or 63. Right, wow. Well, listen. Now, um, I wish I had got well, it. Before. Well, let me ask you this. Where where could people find you? Let's say people had some food or they wanted to help you out. Where would be the best place they could find you? Up at McDonald's. So you're at you're at the McDonald's uh, uh, on US 1 or you're, you're uh, at right the park before. right next door. And usually here in the back by the slides and yeah, stuff like yes that. Yes, sir. Okay, wow. And I'm well, trying to sell my bike. You're trying to sell your bike, and it is a Cannondale bike, a very nice bike. And you said you paid thirteen hundred dollars for it twenty years ago. Twenty years ago. And what are you asking for? Two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars. All right. Well, listen. Uh, we're well, gonna I, 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 I want to wrap up this video, but but. Um, is there anything else that you would like people to know about you? Is there anything 
uh, anything you'd want the viewers to know about your situation and being homeless? Just please pray for me. Yeah. That's all I could say. Yeah. Because uh, I'm, I'm the type of person that I'll starve to death before I'll ask anybody, ask people for money. I can't do I can't do that. I'm not like these other guys. I, I don't mess or hang around them. Yeah. If they come over here where I'm at, I get up, I get on my bike, and I go. I tell them I don't want to be bothered. Well, listen, man, I appreciate you taking a few minutes and letting us get to know you. I Thank really you. do. Thank you Thank very you, much. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.